Jay-Z here. Today we're running through your Projector PM300 battery management system. Up here you've got your display panel. This is where you operate and it also lets you know what you've got in your water tanks. You can operate your water pump from here and your state of charge and your battery levels as well. Now to turn it on and allow power to the van, because this is also your main isolation switch for your 12 volt system, you just hit the load button until up this top left hand corner it says load on and then hit the right enter button. As you can see, we've now got lights. Now on here it's got a few key displays. The two on the left here, now that's showing what our current water levels are at for our water tanks. On the right here, you've got your what your battery set up. So this is set up with 200 amp hours batteries and it's showing us that our battery levels are reading at about 13.7, 13.8 volts at the moment. So essentially they're fully charged. So the management system has kicked into a float state. Our batteries are currently sitting at 99%. Now, if we want to turn the water pump on, we just hit the pump button and our water pump's now working. Now, this display screen obviously can show off a, a bit of an illumination light at night. So if you want to allow it all to turn on, you just hit that light button and it dulls it so it doesn't keep you awake at night. Other than that, to turn it off, we just hit the load button again until it says load off and hit that and that completely shuts down our 12 volt system for the day. Now what we're going to do now, we're going to show you a few troubleshooting issues that if you do have, if you lose power to a bank of lights or just overall, the first things to look at. Now that's just down here. Okay, so we just ran through the display module of the Projector PM300. Down here we actually have the charging unit itself. So this is both your 240 volt charger and your solar regulator. So it regulates the power from your solar panels and the second you plug in the 240, it'll automatically charge your batteries as well. Now, if you happen to lose a bank of lights or a water pump or a specific area that won't work, down here are located all your fuses. So just check these, they're a standard twin blade automotive fuse that you can pick up at any Repco or Super Cheap Auto. There is a main fuse for the system as well. The other main fuse located, if you did ever have an issue, is actually outside at the batteries themselves. You'll see a main fuse above the battery. So if you lose power everywhere, that's the first place I'd be looking. Um, it's a really good system. It's been very simple for our customers to use and very effective and allowed them to free camp for long extended periods of time. Thanks guys.